You hear about China a lot in the news, and so I wanted to see what it was for real. I always wanted to explore the world. I looked all over the world to study, and China offered the best fit in terms of education, quality, and cost. I actually have close family members who have been to China and they just gave amazing reviews of the culture, the people, and the quality of education. Do you have any idea where are your classmates coming from? They're coming from all over the world, from Egypt, from Morocco, from Africa, all over the world. It's very diverse. I look forward. You get to experience uh, Chinese culture firsthand, and I'm encouraging you to come. We to China. China is not like the one spark. We are not just a wonder. School is just a knacker. Should be fine. When I got to China, I saw so many things I didn't expect. I didn't expect people to speak English. I didn't expect people to be friendly. Every part of China, they have their own specialty food. Everything is different. The safety, <laughs> that's the first thing that comes to my mind. How fast everything is in China, how fast and how convenient. That's what I really like about China. What's surprising to me is that I've learned so much about other cultures actually. Not only the Chinese culture, but like cultures from friends that are from like Spain, Germany, Italy, Korea, Indonesia, Thailand, Russia, Uzbekistan, Mongolia. You know, the list goes on. There are just so many people there. We have so many amazing people here, like besides the students, the professors are like they're so broad-minded. They inspire me in so many different aspects in my life. So I'm in this great environment and that's basically what I wanted to when I came here, right? I would definitely suggest like to try it out. This is this is an amazing adventure. This experience here in China is, has been incredible for me so far. It has only been four months, but I feel like I, I'm such a different person in, in, in way of seeing things and um, how I deal with people. The university looked really cool and the city is just gorgeous. So I was like, you know what, I might give it a shot. China has been really amazing when I first arrived. I remember just being in awe, like this city is crazy gorgeous. I did not think it would be like this. The city is very modern and it's really clean, very organized. It really opened my perspective, helped me become more open-minded and understand how you know, different people act from different countries or different cultures. Evil 10 years ago is nothing like evil now. Mm -hmm. Evil now is much, much more developed, much bigger. It's that transformation is just so beautiful to see. That's what I like about China developing so fast. Sijil is very modern and the people are very kind. I think the living condition in Sijil was really good. Life in Suzhou, it was really convenient, especially Alipay and WeChat. I find it really like a step up from the life that I have witnessed in India. Being in XJTLU brought about the best in me, which I had not experienced anywhere else. So I like the infrastructure that I have, especially in Suzhou, like where I live in the Suzhou Industrial Park. Yeah. I literally have everything around me, the facilities that I have, the safety, just even people's friendliness, the local buses, the subway. It's really amazing because it gives you the opportunity to build your personal network, make full use of this opportunity, learn as much as you can. Just remember, such a platform is going to open you amazing doors in the future. China is going to be a big part of the future. Living in China is a whole new concept for us. Discover new cultures, new people. So that's like the best environment for us to, to study in. Actually, I have a really big important opportunity because if I finish my studies here, I will have many options to do. I want to go further than that. The best advice is that if you have the opportunity to come and study in China, just seize it. You will never regret that. Hello everyone and welcome to the China Admissions Chinese Universities Online Open Day. Um, my name is Saskia Watson um, and I am a student recruitment manager for China Admissions. We also have um, 
we have Richard Coed here, um, and uh, we are going to be presenting the online open day for you guys. And we are going to um, present five different Chinese universities to you. Um, so, okay, let's get started. So I think you all know that China is very much known for many different things, but one of the most popular things is that it is known for its incredible nature. It's a very, very beautiful country, and it's obviously a huge country, and it's got so many different types of nature everywhere. So it doesn't matter if you're going to the north, the east, the south of the country. It's very beautiful and it, you'll definitely be able to um, go and travel to so many different parts of the country. It's, it's very much uh, a jaw-droppingly beautiful country. So that's one of the reasons why some people, and myself included, how I really discovered China before I went there and wanted to go there for this reason. Okay, if we move on, there's another reason why some people are very interested in going to China or how they get introduced to Chinese culture, and that is oftentimes through Chinese cuisine. So China has many different types of cuisine. Um, there are eight main types, but there are many more as well. And depending on which city you go to or town you go to, there are going to be so many different types of cuisine. There are spicy dishes, there are sweet dishes, there are very heavy dishes and then very light dishes as well. So depending on where you go, there's very delicious food. It's very different from the Chinese food that you will find in Chinese restaurants overseas. But this is one of the ways that some people might become very interested in China is through the cuisine. Okay, so our agenda for today, um, here we go. So we have five universities that are joining. We have Sino-British College, that's up first. We have Westlake University, United International College, Beijing Film Academy, and then Beijing Language and Culture University's Online Education College. Okay, and then we, uh, we will be closing again. Okay, so, um, I just want to present China Admissions first. So China Admissions is a platform for international students to apply to Chinese universities. We have over 180,000 registered students and have partnered, partnered with more than 200 Chinese universities and have over 5,000 programs. Okay, so you can see here, this is a a screenshot of our website's desktop. So you can see there are so many different ways to use it. It's very accessible, very easy to use. So you can either choose by university, you can search by university, program, city, if you want to study foundation programs or any other type of program, online programs, it's all there, very easy for you to find. Um, and a lot of the information is very easily set out so you can see everything. Now, why do international students choose to use China admissions. So there are many different reasons, but I think the three main ones are here. Uh, it makes your application very easy. So we put all the information online so you can search, compare and find the information you need instead of having to try and find um, all the different universities' personal uh, websites. It's very difficult, especially because there are so many universities in China to choose from. So this makes it very easy for you to compare different degrees and see which one suits you best. Okay, and then you can also apply to any university in China all in one simple form. The other reason is that we provide fast support. We are available to give you free support throughout your application through WhatsApp, email, and messaging from our system. And we aim to get back to you within seven hours. Okay, and then also we provide free services. So we're funded by Chinese universities. So we provide free services for international students. Of course, if you'd like a more personalized type of service or package, we do have other service packages, but we also do have um, free applications as well. So here, I'm also just going to introduce our team here at China Admissions. So uh, we, I already just introduced Richard, who is the CEO. We have Nadia, who's also the student recruitment manager, and then myself, Saskia Watson. Um, we have Rubelina and Savannah as the content managers and Beatrice, who's our video editor. Okay, so I'm going to go over the application process 
Um, and what do you what to expect after the application submission? So first, you're going to apply through China Admissions, and you are going to create your profile there and upload your documents. We're going to check in your documents, make sure everything is correct. If something is incorrect, we will ask you to first correct it. Then once everything is correct, you will submit. We will submit your application to the university. Um, during this time, the universities might ask you for an interview. This usually happens for science courses or MBBS courses. Then you have to wait for the university's decision. You will either get accepted or rejected. If you are accepted, then you need to pay the deposit, deposit fee to the university, which is usually the first year's fee. And then the university will send the visa form, the JW202, and the admission notice to your house. Okay, so just remember that this is under normal circumstances, non-COVID circumstances. However, though, um, right now the Chinese border is uh, slowly, gradually opening. Uh, it's not fully open yet, so some students are able to come back. Then the, with those forms, you can apply for a visa at the Chinese embassy, and then you can fly to China. So first up, we have Sino-British College, and they will pre be presenting for 20 minutes. Okay, so Jason. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, nice to meet you all. I'm glad to have this chance to share the Sino British College information with all of you. So I have prepared a presentation. I will spend 20 minutes. Hope to give you a brief information introduction about the SBC's program, SBC, SBC campus, and the Shanghai. Well, so let's start now. Uh, the Central British College is located in center Shanghai. So uh, this presentation uh, will contain four parts. The first part is about the Shanghai introduction. So I will not spend much time to give you more info, uh, more details about Shanghai as one of the economic center of China. I, I believe um, most of you have known uh, many things about, about Shanghai from multiple channels. The main, the main part of this presentation will contain the other three parts, which is the SBC's campus and uh, uh, the SBC program introduction. And uh, finally, we have some pictures shared with you about the uh, students uh, about our students, our uh, classroom, or, and or something else. So, uh, as 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 mentioned by the China admission, uh, Shanghai, uh, China has many famous city and a famous uh, uh, nature thing. Uh, Shanghai is one of the economic center of China. It 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 is also uh, it is not only an economic center. Uh, although the, it has about uh, more than more than seven hundred headquarters of international companies companies located here, and also have more than four hundred uh, foreign funding research centers located here, but also Shanghai is also uh, Shanghai also have many beautiful views and uh, um, and colorful life uh, citizen cultures uh, for for people to live in here to feel this city and uh, to enjoy the life here. So I prepared some pictures about some uh, sh shopping mall or some nature scene of Shanghai for your visit. Okay, so next part, <laughs> we will go into the core part of this presentation, the SBC introduction. So starting from 2006, the Saint Louis College is established in center Shanghai. Uh, SBC is a joint venture college. This is an innovation uh, within all the universities around, the, uh, around the China. Uh, this joint venture uh, allow SBC to combine the uh, UK education and uh, education and the Chinese universities education. So the, the co-founders of this college uh, uh, University of Shanghai for Science and Technology, which is a famous Chinese university, and the other nine UK partner universities. So within these nine UK partners, we have three schools belong to the teaching excellence framework. They are Sheffield Hallam University, Bradford University, uh, Huddersfield University, and the, uh, and the Leeds Beckett University. 
We also have two partners. They belong to the Russell Group, University of Sheffield and the University of Leeds. So our strong, our, the strong academic support from, from our UK partners gave our students a uh, fantastic UK education uh, experience. So um, concerning the SBC itself, uh, although we have many partners, the, uh, although we have partners, the uh, famous universities, they are huge and uh, they are uh, well known around the world. Uh, but SBC is not so uh, huge. SBC as a college, we have about uh, 1,400 students, including about 30 international students from more than 10 countries or regions. And also we have more than 50 professionals, academic staffs from over 20 different countries or regions. Um, 41 of them have foreign nationalities and 12 Chinese academics. They have overseas study experience. This academic team makes SBC, of, um, gave, SBC um, gave SBC a great uh, characteristic, which is all English teaching environment. So this is also unique. Uh, within all the uh, universities of China. And I will give you more details about the SBC's UK teaching environment uh, later during I, uh, during, during I introduce SBC program to you. Uh, in 2019, SBC become a PRME sharing information on progress report of UN. And in 2021, SBC also uh, received the certificate of membership from the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business, which is which means SBC uh, has became one of the best, uh, uh, has the strong potential to become one of the best uh, business school around the world, and uh, especially in two thousand twenty two, in two thousand twenty two, SBC received the decision letter from the Institution of Engineering and Technology by the Academic Accreditation Committee. And uh, this is one of the most uh, well-known uh, engineering associate, uh, around, uh, associate located in UK. So this means SBC's engineering program and engineering teaching has met the uh, high level of international standard, which gave our engineering students a more, uh, a more uh, a stronger academic support to, uh, to support their academic development or career development. Uh, here are some data from our graduates development. So based on the data of 2020, we have uh, more than 70, we have about 70% 70 70 of graduates, they will pursue high academic degrees in UK. And the other graduates, they choose to go to uh, top 500 uh, enterprises in the world to start their career. Okay, so next part, we will uh, concentrate on the SBC program. So SBC program is easy to understand. There are two kinds of program we provide to our international students. The first one is the dual bachelor degrees program. And the second one is a single bachelor degree program. The dual bachelor degrees program uh, gives students four major to choose from studying at SBC, business management, events management, electrical electronic engineering, mechanical engineering. So this is program is also easy to understand. Studying at SBC four years in Shanghai, students will get two degrees one from the University, University of Shanghai for Science and Technology, and the, another one from the UK University. Here are the entry requirements of, the, of this program. It contains three parts, academic requirement, English requirement, and Chinese requirement. So as the, because, of, because the, this program uh, will be awarded by the Chinese University and the UK Universities. So it not only provides all, provides almost, almost all courses taught in English. It also uh, has few courses taught in Chinese. That's why we suggest the students uh, equipped with basic Chinese, uh, Chinese language ability.
The second program we want to introduce to you is the single bachelor degree program. And uh, as I mentioned uh, in, previ uh, in previous pages of this presentation, SBC has strong ability to give our students an all English teaching environment. And this uh, and the single bachelor degree program can be one of the uh, best uh, example of this uh, characteristic because all courses of SBC single bachelor degree program are taught in English. This gave our student, international students who cannot speak Chinese but want to study in Shanghai a great chance to study. It does not request you have Chinese language ability and also you can study here and to achieve your bachelor degree. Uh, the single bachelor degree program have two choices for you to choose from. The first one is four plus zero. And uh, four plus zero means students will study four years at Shanghai uh, and uh, achieve one UK degree from our partner, UK partners. They are also four majors, business management, events management, electrical, electronic engineering, mechanical engineering. It, it, it looks like the dual bachelor degrees program. The difference is that it will not be awarded by the Chinese university and the students can choose to study four years or three years in Shanghai. The second choice of the single bachelor degree program is two plus two pathway. So this is also one of the characteristics of SBC because um, this program, th this choice gives students many more choices to uh, feel Chinese culture and the UK culture. Not only will you study in Shanghai, but also have chance to study in UK because this choice gives students to choose, uh, this to give students the chance to study in UK for the final two years after one or two years at SBC. And these nine UK partners will give more than 40 major choices for you to study, for example, business or engineering. Here are the entry requirements of the single bachelor degree program. So uh, students, because this program doesn't require students Chinese language ability, and it will not be awarded by the Chinese university. So it's an, it will not request you have Chinese language ability, and it is flexible to be admitted to SBC. Uh, UK, universities, uh, UK universities provide three years bachelor degree education. It, it is different with the Chinese four years education. So students, uh, depending on students' academic certificate, uh, it is possible for you to be admitted to SBC year one or SBC year two. So that's why you may have chance to study one year at SBC, then final two years go to UK. And you also can choose to study two years at, at SBC and the final two years go to UK. And uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to contact with you if you, are, you're interested in, if you are interested in this program. And I can share with you more details about SBC, about the major choices of this program. Uh, here, uh, this page uh, will show you the basic course studying at SBC. Um, um, is, uh, to be frankly, the basic course at SBC is not expensive because uh, the tuition fee and accommodation fee is uh, reasonable, compar especially comparing to the UK university. And uh, finally, about the, uh, the fa uh, at the end of the program introduction, I will give you information about the international scholarship provided by SBC. So depend, uh, based on the different program choices, we have different scholarship uh, available for students. Uh, if you have Chinese language, if you have great Chinese language ability, the HSK4 scholarship uh, is waiting for you. And if you have strong English ability, we have the uh, EAP tuition waiver scholarship also can be, uh, can become a, a great support to you, uh, students, uh, to your tuition deduction. And uh, we also have the other kind of international scholarship uh, for all international students, no matter you choose single degree program or dual degrees program. Um, and now you can see some pictures of SBC and uh, our students 
our this is the library and uh, this is the playground this is our classroom This is laboratory. This is the school canteen. Finally, uh, these are pictures about our student, international student accommodation. Okay, so basically that's all I want to share with you about the St. British College. And uh, we still have time to answer some questions or to maybe uh, give you more information you want to know. Thank you. Okay, so anyone that has any type of questions that they would like to ask, please write them down in the chat box or in the Q&A. Um, I'm looking through the chat box and uh, let me see whether I can answer directly to some questions. I have a BT chemistry, PhD physics. Okay, so uh, uh, one of the information I want to share with you is that uh, SPC, mm, we, SBC only provides a bachelor degree program. So we don't have postgraduate or PhD program. This is the first answer I want to share with you. And- uh, Okay, so there are also um, some more questions that I have here for you, uh, Jason. Yes, please. Um, so are there any internships on the program? Uh, SPC, we have uh, we we cannot directly to have uh, we don't have the direct uh, internship uh, recommendation uh, to our students. But uh, I want to share with you that uh, uh, for SPC year three or year four international student, students, the the career service department of SBC will introduce many chances of internship uh, with to our Chinese students and international students because some foreign countries, uh, some foreign companies and international companies. Uh, they have uh, they are, they have um, they have contact with SBC and so each year they have international uh, they have internship opportunities open for SBC students. And okay, of course, the, when when students need to find uh, to get an internship, SBC overseas service team will also help students to maybe uh, prepare for the visa issue or something. Okay, and are there any Chinese classes there? Sure. Uh, because of the dual degrees program, uh, we provide provide uh, we provide the free Chinese language teaching courses for our international students. Uh, the purpose of that course is helped is to help our international students reach HSK four uh, before graduation. And uh, no matter dual degree students or internet or single degree students, they are all feel free to come to uh, join this class. Okay, and then the last question, what are the eligibility for these scholarships? Uh, well, uh, that depends because we have different kinds of scholarship. So uh, for, uh, for example, the EAP tuition waiver, the strong, uh, the English tuition, uh, English scholarship, it requires the applicant uh, have an English ability of else 6.0 of the equivalent standard. And uh, and for example, there are uh, another high achiever scholarship, which will be awarded to the students who have good grades. It requires the applicant to have an average grade of about 85%. Uh, 
when they start the application. So depending on the different scholarship, if you want to more into, uh, if you want to know more details, please feel free to contact with us and we can share your details. Okay, thank you so much, Jason, for sharing. Um, okay. And then we are going to move on to our next panelist. Okay, um, thank you. Okay, so let me just share here. Hi, Saz. Hello, thank you so much for joining, Christina. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. So yeah, I'm Christina from Westlake University and uh, I'd like to thank the China admissions team for organizing this and, and giving us this opportunity to talk about our university. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about um, our university and mainly focus on our undergrad programs. Uh, Westlake is a very distinctive place. So we are a relatively new university. We were established in um, uh, 2018. Um, it is uh, conceived as a new type of research university, um, and uh, it is the first private research university in China. However, when we say private, it is more of a private um, public partnership because we also do receive a great deal of public support. Um, another important aspect of Westlake is that we aim to be a reformer in the Chinese higher education system. Um, so uh, we try to do things a little bit differently. We aim to be um, um, in international and uh, we are growing uh, on a large scale in the last few years and we are continuing to grow. Um, so where we are first, um, this is um, a map of, um, you know, Shanghai. Shanghai um, is in the east coast uh, of China. And then we are located in a beautiful city uh, named Hangzhou uh, that is like an hour southwest of Shanghai. Um, so Shanghai is pretty uh, easy to get to from Hangzhou. It's only an hour uh, by the fast high-speed train. And so we have uh, two campuses, uh, our original Yunzi campus um, that is in the south of Hangzhou. And we have recently moved and expanded our um, operations into our new campus, Yungu campus, that is in the northwest of, of Hangzhou. Um, and so that is uh, where we are. Uh, how are we different? Um, so uh, first of all, uh, we really have like amazing world-class uh, faculty. Uh, there's 95% uh, of our faculty come from world leading universities like uh, MIT, Caltech, Stanford, uh, UC Berkeley, and so on. Uh, and therefore, from the perspective of a student, uh, it is an amazing opportunity to, you know, work along with these um, uh, leading scientists and, and engineers. Um, these are our chair professors. And so, for example, our president uh, is a world-renowned biologist uh, who spent uh, most of his career at Princeton University. Uh, um, and also our vice president, uh, Xu Tian, who spent uh, most of his career at Yale. Um, and so, um, yeah, we also have a lot of junior uh, junior faculty uh, coming from all parts of the world. Um, and they are also all, uh, you know, a leading scientists um, and, and great in their fields. So another, uh, what would your experience be like if you decide to come to Westlake? Um, uh, first of all, it's a great educational and cultural experience. Uh, I think regardless of which country you're coming from, um, coming to China, studying here and living here, I think it's still rather um, unusual and, and special for, for many people. So um, you definitely will have the chance to immerse in. Um, also, um, if you, uh, like I have been here for almost nine years now. And so it's also unusual because the language is so different. There's the language barrier. Um, and I would say, even if you speak the language fairly well, 
um, doing your degree in Chinese is something very different. And, and, and therefore here at Westlake, we, um, you know, we provide um, like all of our courses are English taught uh, so that you won't have a problem to adjust to, you know, the classes and the teaching environment. Another important aspect is that we, even though we are science and engineering oriented, um, uh, we have a liberal, a liberal arts philosophy, which means that we provide, you know, you get courses in all different areas. Um, and another aspect of the experience is that we require all uh, our students to, um, uh, to study abroad. So out of China for at least a semester or a year and with uh, partner universities, um, with uh, some of our partner universities. So it, it's really uh, would be a great educational and cultural experience. Um, also, as you know, Chinese as a language is getting more important uh, globally. Uh, so having that experience to study and live in China for some time and also to uh, learn some Chinese, we definitely think would be, a, you know, it will uh, set you ready for, for a global career. These are some of the laboratories um, on our campus. There are over 200 uh, really uh, state-of-the-art laboratories uh, where our scientists are doing groundbreaking research. Um, now a little bit about our campus. Uh, so as I said, we recently moved into our campus and um, it is, a, it is a really beautiful place with lots of great uh, facilities. I think one um, interesting characteristic is its design uh, that you probably can notice from the picture here. So uh, the academic ring that is in the middle uh, is where the three, sc three schools are located and where most of the classes take place. And its uh, design is basically um, done so, so that in, it encourages interdisciplinary work. Uh, so um, it makes it easier for people, you know, regardless if it's students or faculty or staff to kind of like um, easily meet together and discuss and do science together. Um, so that is a little bit more about our campus and just trying to, uh, See, check the time. Uh, right. Um, so these are a few more photos of our campus. Uh, it is still under construction. Many of the facilities are already in use, and we have um, administration offices already in use, and, and students are already here. So, but there are some other, um, you know, the final construction phase will be completed in 2024. So there's still more to come. Um, so that is in summary a little bit about uh, Westlake. We are definitely uh, a new university. We aim to remain small. So that is another uh, characteristic of ours that uh, we, we will have um, um, around 2000 students by 2026. That is our goal. Um, and we are ambitious. So our scientists are already making groundbreaking, um, you know, uh, have groundbreaking results in their research. For example, this was big news. Um, maybe you have heard of, um, you know, our team of scientists uh, deciphered um, uh, the way uh, COVID-19 infects uh, the human cells, which provided the basis for development of um, drugs and uh, uh, vaccines. So another aspect, if you, um, you know, uh, if you are into entrepreneurial work, uh, it is also definitely the place to be because um, a big number of our faculty have um, sort of, um, you know, um, they're turning their discoveries into marketable uh, products. So we are also trying to create a culture where undergrads can, can learn about entrepreneurship as well. So if you're interested in that, it's like is also a great place to be. Um, so from here, I will move on to our undergrad program. Uh, the important point is that, uh, as I said, even though we are science and engineering focused, um, you know, uh, we want people to be broadly educated. So we, uh, we also have a liberal arts uh, orientation. Uh, the way it works is that all undergrads uh, take the same courses during the first two years. And then at the end of the second year, they choose their major. That way they will, you know, uh, 
get broadly educated, but also get um, a lot of depth in their specific technical area. Uh, we are organized into uh, three schools, uh, and we currently have five majors, um, uh, biology, physics, and chemistry on the science side, and then we have um, two more um, in the engineering uh, majors. Uh, the first one corresponds to electrical engineering and computer science, basically. Um, the second one is material science. Um, so we have, uh, as I already mentioned before, like really strong faculty that, you know, they are leading scientists in their fields. And some of our strength is in uh, environmental engineering, uh, quantum technology, and artificial intelligence. Uh, maybe you've heard that AI is... Uh, developing uh, much faster in China. So several of our faculty are at the top of their fields in AI. Another important point to mention is that we have a need blind admissions policy. So um, uh, however, like uh, most of, of or all international students um, that will be successfully admitted uh, next year will uh, be able to receive a four year scholarship. Uh, the scholarship covers the tuition fees um, as well as uh, it, it also provides a monthly allowance. Uh, yeah, so this is some of our teaching faculty. Um, for example, our vice president, he's also chair professor of genetics, uh, Professor Xu Tian. Uh, he has, um, um, you know, spent most of his career at Yale University. Uh, Professor Chiu Ming, Professor Yu Hong Tao, they're all uh, leading scientists in their areas. Here are some of the other uh, faculty. Um, uh, another characteristic of Westlake is that all of the uh, uh, faculty is required to teach. So I, I, I heard that that is a little bit different in some other research universities, but here at Westlake, they, um, they also have to teach. And uh, the study abroad program, so we have already successfully signed um, uh, collaboration agreements with uh, 20 institutions. Um, you can see some of them are really uh, famous universities in the US, the UK, Canada, uh, Israel, um, and uh, yeah. So um, we have a system of residential colleges. Uh, uh, that is basically um, college within the university. Uh, our residential colleges are still under construction, will open in 2024. Um, and um, for the time being, our students uh, live in um, uh, graduate uh, apartments. Uh, residential colleges, uh, what is great about them is that they provide this opportunity for students to mix up, to have the chance to, um, you know, learn from like older students and, and younger students. Um, and also in that way, you know, to have that sense of community and to, to build friendships. We also have a great support system uh, in our residential colleges. So there's the dean, uh, they live with their families in the facility. Uh, and there's also a lot of uh, counselors and um, entrepreneurial fellows. Uh, many of our donors are uh, actively involved, um, so they volunteer their time to act as uh, entrepreneurial fellows, uh, and so they will be there for you to, to, you know, provide you with that sort of guidance. These are our current uh, dorms. Just checking on the time, sorry. Uh, so this is how the dorms look like right now. Our Chinese students are already uh, living in these dorms. There are gyms and a lot of other uh, great facilities. This is our library. Some of them are still being built. Um, and about campus life, um, of course, we do have many um, sports. It's very important to West Lakers. So um, running, uh, ping pong, uh, all sorts of sports, uh, tai chi. Uh, so in case that is uh, of interest for you, you can join. You can join some of our clubs or even start your own. And uh, a little bit about Hangzhou. So as I said, it's just an hour away from Shanghai and um, it's really beautiful. It's uh, you know a mix of the traditional and modern and um, um, it's uh, also home of Alibaba. So the headquarters of Alibaba are here in Hangzhou. 
as you can see from the pictures, there are beautiful sceneries here. The famous tea plantations are here. There's a lake called West Lake. And so, yeah, uh, that is a little bit about Hanjo. Uh, that is the photo of West Lake. And now admissions. Uh, so in terms of the profile of students that we're looking for, um, of course, um, because we are science and engineering oriented, we uh, hope our students, you know, have already proven like interest and potential in these areas uh, that they have a global outlook, which basically means that they're curious, they want to learn not only about China, but also about the world, that they're adaptable, versatile, and of course, the language abilities have to be on point. These are some of the requirements. So for English proficiency, I mean, for non-native speakers, we require um, these, um, you know, TOEFL 90, you need to score 95, or if it's IELTS, it has to be 6.5 band. And uh, yeah, so because I, I we're limited with time, I'm trying to speed up. This is, this is the timeline for the admissions. Um, uh, for the ones who are interested, we can share the presentation after, after this. Uh, I will give you my contact info at the end. Um, I also want to mention that apart from our undergrad programs, there is also PhD programs at Westlake. So we are currently also admitting students for our PhD programs. And here there are currently four uh, in biology, chemistry, electronic science and technology. And we have a joint PhD program with Fudan University in physics. Uh, in or if you are interested in our PhD programs, feel free to reach out to our colleague Derek uh, because he's the one responsible for the PhD programs. Uh, here is his contact information. Uh, you can take a screenshot. Uh, and then my contact information is on the last slide. You can reach out either through WhatsApp or, on, uh, or through WeChat. And you can also visit our social media channels if you want to find out more about Westlake. Uh, so basically, yeah, that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions, we're, we're more than happy to, to answer them. Okay, Christina. So there are a couple of different questions. Um, one of the very popular questions is whether or not there are scholarship opportunities and if there are, what are the grades that are looked for if um, for those scholarship applications? Right, so um, we don't have uh, SAT requirements uh, for the grades. I, I think uh, what we're currently doing is a more holistic approach. So um, of course it, it really depends. Maybe my colleague Donna can, can follow up on this. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in to uh, provide more information on the scholarship question. So uh, basically, um, uh, Westlake is going to provide a, 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 a full scholarship to all admitted uh, international students, and uh, we are um, we have adopted a test optional uh, policy for this year's admissions, uh, meaning we do not require SAT or any other standardized test um, submission to support the student's application. Um, but if, if a student has great scores uh, from those tests, uh, feel free to uh, submit them. Uh, but if you don't have those, you will not be at a dis disadvantage. Um, um, so in terms of uh, uh, the, the procedure for applying for a scholarship, we actually do not have a separate procedure uh, for the scholarship application. Once you submit your uh, application, you will be considered for admission into the program and if you are admitted um, you will get a scholarship okay wonderful and how can students sign up or um, register for any more information um you mean sign up for so basically we have left the qr code here and when they scan the qr code they can access the admissions website Okay. Um, or if uh, you want to get in touch with us um, directly, uh, as I said, I have left uh, my WhatsApp number and also my WeChat number. I'm not sure, maybe some of you guys don't have WeChat, but WhatsApp, I, I, I guess you, you probably yes. have. Yeah. Yes. And then um, what's the process of getting a supervisor for PhD programs? Um, this question is more PhD oriented. So, yeah. um, 
supervisor. I think the, the first step would be to contact uh, Derek, the admissions advisor for PhD pro programs, and he would be able to uh, provide a specific guidance on how to get in touch with a potential supervisor the students are interested in working with. Okay. Yeah, so for everyone who's interested in the PhD programs, uh, feel free to, you know, um, email yeah. Derek um, or send an email to this, um, the, the uh, PhD admissions uh, email. So mm -hmm. I, I'm sure he'll be happy to answer all your questions. Okay, great. And then what do you see as the opportunities for students after taking this program or taking the program with Westlake? Wow. So yeah, as we said, considering that Chinese, I mean, China's influence is getting uh, bigger and bigger by the day globally and also the language is getting more and more important i feel like just the, the whole you know immersion in chinese culture living here and studying here uh, already gives them a great advantage um, over other other students um, and as i said because our curriculum is science and engineering or oriented um so but also with a liberal arts philosophy which means that they will really be broadly educated like they will be, um, you know, very highly educated in their specific field, but also have knowledge of, of, of liberal arts. And um, yeah, as I said, we also have a great support system. Um, so for people who uh, want to continue maybe on the entrepreneurial path, we have many opportunities. Um, internships wise, we do also provide, um, you know, a, a lot of opportunities. So um, it just, it, they, they will be ready for, you know, like to launch their global career if they decide to uh, do their degree at Westlake. Please let me uh, add something, question. Um, so Probably the majority of our our graduates would uh, would be interested in pursuing uh, further pursuing their education uh, because they're in a great place and being uh, working with a great uh, faculty team. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, these people who are educated abroad or who had held positions abroad, they still have great connections with uh, with top universities worldwide. So these connections would actually benefit our students who wish to uh, study uh, further in, in other countries, or they can choose to stay uh, with Westlake to, to do their PhD. Okay. Wonderful. Another great thing about our curriculum is that undergrad students can also undertake like some graduate level of work, uh, which means that if you're really interested in doing research, I think that is a great opportunity. You know, like it gives you at a very early stage, it gives you this experience and, and so many people to learn from and with. Yes. Okay, thank you so, so much for everyone at Westlake for being part of this event. We are going to move on to United International College. Thank you. Okay, great. Hello, hello. Hello, yes. Yes, um, uh, hello. Can I start now or I could share my screen here? Yes. Okay. Can you see I must see my screen? Um, let me just change. Can you see my screen? Um, not yet. Just wait a second. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yes, we can see it now. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, thank you for inviting us. Um, let me introduce myself. Um, I'm Jesse from International Development Office of Beijing Normal University, Hong Kong Baptist University, United International College. It's a pleasure to be here to give you a brief introduction of our, our university. Okay, let's get started now. Um, yeah, here we go. UIC is the first 
scale cooperation in higher education between Chinese mainland and Hong Kong, jointly funded by Beijing Normal University and Hong Kong Baptist University in 2005. After graduation, students will get the graduation certificate of UIC and bachelor's degree of HKBU. Here is our professor Tang Tao. He is the member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. UIC is located in the beautiful city of Zhuhai and the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. Zhuhai was one of the first places where modern Chinese met Western culture. Here is a photo of our second phrases blueprint here, and which is consists of three clusters, which consists of scientific research building, teaching blocks, and residential halls. We can see some pictures here, our new dorm in the second phase com campus. As we are located in the Greater Bay Area, and the graduates are expected to gain more possibility to work in Hong Kong once the initiative immigration agreement of non-local graduate program to expand, expand Hong Kong's talent pool are implemented. But back to UIC, our mission is to develop a liberal arts college dedicated to produce well-rounded global talents. And here's some key information for students. Our tuition will be 100,000 per year and the dorm dormitory uh, costs 6,400 per year for two bathrooms and 4,000 per year for three bathrooms. UIC has worldwide staff recruitment Faculty members come from more than 30 countries and regions. Students mainly come from mainland China, and some students are from Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. And our international stu students are from all over the world as well. Let's introduce, let me introduce our faculties and schools in UIC. Here we got four uh, academic uh, faculties and schools and also our school of general education first will be the faculty of business and management we have eight programs our accounting program finance program and e-business management are the most popular programs in recent years for the faculty of science and technology i also have nine programs but due to the pandemic situation, some program will be required offline teaching mode or provide only one semester or one academic year only. Please consult us for further advice before you submitting your application. For the Faculty of Humanity and Social Sciences, and here we have, we have the Chinese culture and the global communication, which is quite popular by the international students. For the School of Culture and Creativity, we also have five programs at the moment, but most of the programs are required offline learning as well. UIC developed various type of cooperation with more than 60 universities. We keep exploring cooperation opportunities with high QS ranking institution to better support our students get involved in summer programs and exchange our programs. For graduates' prospects, we can see in 2021, around 900 of our graduates were admitted to top 100 QS rank university. What's more, we provide a lot of um, activity to international, international students, um, such as high table dinner, events and activity related to Chinese traditional culture, such as calligraphy, traditional food making, flower arranging, tidy class, handicrafting, painting courses. And we also arrange one day tour in Zhuhai or Zhongshan or some other places in Guangdong province. Not only um, to have the tour, city tour, but also explore, exploring food culture here. Let's enjoy a video to see what do international students 
think of UIC. I think UIC is really cool because there's a lot of opportunities to integrate me and like myself and other exchange students along with the Chinese students to get to know each other and um, explore our differences together but to find common ground to integrate together. UIC is an educational center that gives students the chance to learn China and all of its cultural aspects, including traditional music, traditional dances, history, and geological location travel and historic places. The environment of UIC is really awesome that I really feel happy here and our technology, all the classrooms and the teachers are highly qualified and I really appreciate to be here and leading my study. When I think of UIC, I just think about when I went back to the club fair and they had so many different organizations there to for us to get interesting and every club we spoke to was so passionate about what they did um, whether it was the outdoor club or the fashion model club everyone everyone was really really dedicated to their craft And here comes the most important part, the scholarship and admission procedure. We do offer different types of entry scholarship for excellent international students, uh, such as 30% uh, entrance scholarship, full entrance scholarship, and also the scholarship funded by government. So, um, or the quotas are based on first come, first serve. As the application for 2023 intake is open, we highly recommend that students submit their application as soon as possible. So um, here shows some general college admission requirements. Applicants belong to the categories list below can select only one of them, which can best reflect the highest qualification and status. For more info information, Please refer to our website or book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with us. When you're submitting your application, please also provide with the following required documents, such as graduation, uh, graduate certification of high school, your all transcripts, two recommendation letter, uh, your personal statement, and also your passport copy, Language certification is also required for non-English speaking students, TOEFL score 79, internet basis or IELTS 6 score. And our application deadline will be June 30 every year. And here's some beautiful scenery on campus and around the campus here. Here's the Scenery on campus. Here's the Learning Resource Center and also inside the Learning Resource Center. Our sports complex, Hui Tong Sport Park, and there's there is a there are three uh, restaurants uh, in UIC. You can choose whatever you want here. And here is the dormitory picture in phrase, for phrase one campus. And as what I mentioned, um, just uh, have the general information of how much will be cost for the accommodation cost here. And also the baths in dorm, the common room here. And here is the uh, cultural creative clusters. Yeah, and it's also welcome to follow our media channels on WeChat, Facebook, YouTube. If you have any question, just write an email directly to us or uh, let China Admission know.
um, what can we help you to do the one-on-one -on -one consultation. Um, also, you can scan the QR code here to follow our WeChat. We will share some information and also the activity with international students to get more uh, you want to know more about UIC here. Yeah. That's it for the presentation. And maybe um, I can help to answer some questions from the students. Yes. Thank you, Thank you so much, Jesse. So um, we are getting some questions about um, internships. Are you able to maybe talk a bit about if there are any opportunities for internships or help with internships? Uh, yes. Um, actually, uh, we cannot guarantee any opportunities for those international students um, because of the visa issue or other things. Uh, but we do have the, the, the uh, career develop office who is uh, helping to give some advice for international students when they are uh, asking for the internship in China or even in Hong Kong, Macau, other places in Greater Bay Area. We are very happy to answer the questions if they have some um, concerns uh, when they um, applying for an internship or want to have some advice from us, we are happy to answer it. So it's uh, really um, need to be solved uh, case by case. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and then there's another question here. I think the student might have misunderstood, but just in case, let's just go over it just in case there's maybe no other students that are misunderstanding. So um, when does the application period start and when is the deadline? Uh, yeah, uh, as what I mentioned, our application uh, is already open to international students um, for 2023 intake. And our deadline yes. will be June 30 every year because we need some time to prepare those um, visa things um, and help them for uh, apply for the JW202 forms. And maybe students need some time to book their ticket, flight tickets or other yes. things. Uh, so we will um, just, um, uh, close yeah. our application uh, and June 30th. Okay. Yeah. I just quickly want to go over this that sometimes when people hear the deadline is June 30th, they think that they can only start applying on June 30th. That's mm -hmm. not it. That means you could, that's, that it's finished at Ju on June 30th. So oh, no. please, <laughs> I also just recommend for all the students watching. Please try to make your applications and finish your applications as soon as possible. So the sooner that you start, the better. Um, and also we will not, China Admissions will not be accepting applications with less than 10 days before the deadline, just because um, it is in case you have some documents that are incorrect. So we recommend that everyone as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah, um, if the students are uh, uh, facing some difficulties, um, please just say in advance, uh, let us to help you, um, whether you cannot uh, submit before our deadline. And yeah, just let China Admission know how we can help you on our application procedure. Very good, okay. And what are some of the career opportunities that can come to the international students if they study with UIC? Um, actually, the students, um, as what I mentioned, they will just put chasing their further education overseas. Uh, over 80% students uh, will continue their education um, after they graduate from okay. UIC. So, yeah. <laughs> and okay. maybe just um, establish their uh, own business here in Greater Bay Area. And because we got some fundings by the government who supporting students um, uh, establish the, their business here. It's a good choice for young people. Yes, yes. And mm -hmm. is there any age limit for the programs? Uh, actually, uh, for undergraduate program, we don't have any um, age limited, but um, students who are had the uh, older age here will maybe uh, face some problem problem um, maybe physical problem um, mentally problem uh, communicating with other students who is younger than he 
um, himself or herself. Yeah, uh, but um, it's no limited. Okay. Just up to students' choices when well, whatever they want to get year or continue study in UIC is okay. It's all welcome. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we are going to um, start moving on to um, Beijing Film Academy. I'm just going to, okay, let me just do this. And then, Okay, so um, Emily from Beijing Film Academy is here and she yes. is going to be presenting BFA to all of these students that might be interested in studying there. Okay, so are you ready, Emily? Hello. Hello. Hi, Emily. Yes, I can hear you. Hmm. Uh, yes, things are wrong with my internet, but can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Let me share my screen. Hold on, please. Okay, so uh, while Emily's presenting that, I just want to add that if anyone is interested in looking for different programs and trying to find out which programs suit them the best, you can go to our website, chinaadmissions.com. I will share that in the chat box. So if anyone is interested in going to look there on the website, see which program suits you best. You can also read all of our articles about how to prepare your documents and how to apply. Um, and you can check that over there. Okay, so maybe while we are waiting for Emily to start, we will go over to um, BLCU first. So Beijing Language and Culture University's online education program. And then we will come back to Beijing Film Academy just now. Okay, is that okay is with that you, Angela? Uh, yeah, sure. Hi, hi, Sas. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Let me just okay. hear you. Okay, there we go. All right, let me share my screen. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Angela. I'm Beijing Language and Culture University in Chinese for Channel Animations. Uh, so I'm sharing my screen now, and everybody can see me. And uh, I I'm from uh, Online Education College of Beijing Language and Culture University. So uh, I'm going to introduce our online Chinese and Chinese language or Chinese teacher training courses, which are all online. Um, so also here I have my WeChat uh, QR code here, can you see it? So if you have WeChat, you can scan the QR code to add me if you got further questions. So I will start. <laughs> so uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are from Beijing Language and Culture University. I think a lot of uh, uh, you have already heard about our university. So uh, we are uh, BLCU, like Beijing Language and Culture University. Um, we are a university that directly under the Ministry of Education of People's Republic of China. And uh, we are well known as a mini United Nation. Uh, so it is the only university of its kind in China that specializes in offering Chinese language and culture courses to foreign students. 
and also in the area of teaching Chinese as a foreign language and promotion of Chinese culture. BLCU has the longest history, the largest size, and the most well-qualified academic faculty. Since its founding, our university has trained some um, 220 uh, southern foreign students from 184 countries and regions. So that's some basic information of our university. And for uh, our courses or the courses of our university, so um, there are three parts basically. Um, so for the university, we have degree programs. Uh, also we have non-degree programs for intensive courses. Also, we have non-degree programs with part-time learning students. So for the first two part, the degree programs and non-degree program, which is intensive, like full-time study, um, you need to contact the International Admission Office of our school. And uh, here is the uh, website. Also, you can apply for those courses from China's mission too. Um, but for us, uh, we are from the online education college. And this is our website, www.eblcu.com. And we only offer online classes for non-degree programs, uh, usually for part-time learning students. So um, for the full-time learning degree and non-degree programs, they have scholarships and also have classroom-based uh, lessons right now. So, but you need to apply from like, the, the uh, international animation office here. Yeah, so uh, next I will uh, start to introduce about our, uh, about our courses, which is uh, all online, like non-degree programs. So for us, we are the BLCU Online Education College. Uh, we founded 20 years ago. Um, so we are the college that um, providing like uh, distance education program, like online courses, no matter if there is COVID or not, we only do online courses. Um, we're taking um, eblcu.com as our platform, uh, focus on cross-border distance Chinese international education and international promotion of Chinese culture. And for our courses, our um, programs, basically we have three, those three parts, uh, Chinese learning programs, uh, international Chinese teacher training courses, and also uh, Chinese culture courses. Oh, um, by the way, if you have any questions about our courses, you can uh, leave um, a question to the QRA part so we can answer it later. Also, you can scan this QR code to add me on WeChat um, if you need like some further questions about us. So uh, here are our courses, online courses. Uh, Chinese language course and Chinese culture course and Chinese teacher training courses, those two, three parts. So I will start with Chinese courses. So uh, for our school, if you need to like apply for scholarships um, because our is language and culture university. So uh, usually they need HSK, like they have HSK requirements. And for our online courses, we can help students to prepare for HSK. So uh, we have a group, 12 weeks group class um, for HSK 1 to 5, which is a part-time learning course. Um, so here goes the, uh, look at the orange one. Those are our levels versus HSK levels. So uh, one of our level is 12 weeks learning. And you, during the 12 weeks, you will have one class per week, which is one hour class with a small group students like the picture doing. And uh, for one 12 weeks, like one section of one level of our course, uh, the price is 1,300 RMB. Usually during the 12 weeks, you will go through like half of an HSK level. So this is the first Chinese course, like 12 weeks group class. Uh, and here is a small video about it. Um, you can take a brief look at how the class is going like that. Um, yes, just a brief 
exactly like how the class is going. And uh, also some students may ask me if I need to uh, train for HSK6, how do I do? So because for the group class, we don't have so many people uh, preparing for HSK6. Mm -hmm. So if you need to prepare for HSK6, please, uh, you can apply for this one-on-one. Uh, -on -one, uh, so personalized online Chinese uh, classes to help you prepare that. Also, if you don't want to like share the lesson with other students, you want more like customized course, um, you can use this course as well. So it's more flexible. The teacher can prepare the class according to your level and your learning need. Um, also follow your learning pace. And here goes the different packages like for uh, 30 classes to 150 classes and here goes the price and we have some discounts if you apply for more than 60 classes um, you will get some discounts for it yep and this is um, our like general Chinese courses and if you're interested in learning like some business or doing business in China so uh, we also have business Chinese course and this is uh, designed for like uh, uh, speakers who are like need, have needs to learn business Chinese. So th for this course, we'll use online flipped classroom but that teaching mode. So it's also a 12 weeks long program, but uh, uh, for each week, um, besides the live lesson, like one hour lesson, and you also need to study some uh, video lectures from our website and also do a finish, finish some tasks online and take the online classes once a week and also 12 weeks per level. Here goes the levels. So we have nine levels. Start from beginner's level. Yes, uh, start from beginner's level. You can learn business trades and to advanced level. So uh, here is a video of how the video lecture is going. And just take a brief look. Yeah, those are the videos. And yes, uh, and the price is here. So we have two versions, live version, which means you have those video lectures from the website and also with one live lesson, one live session, which is one hour per week. And for a 12 weeks course, like one level, uh, the price is 1,800 RMB. And also we have uh, auto version, which only have the uh, video lectures and you also have teachers to help you like to do your homework and something like that, but you don't have lab lessons. So the price is uh, like 800 RMB for one level, 12 weeks learning. Yep, so this is the business Chinese. And also if you have kids and you, if your kids are preparing to like take HSK or want to learn Chinese or study in China in the future, uh, you can choose this, like uh, children who use Chinese course. So this course is designed for students ages from six to 16. So for this course, it's more like uh, uh, designed for kids and uh, uh, they will use games, pictures, songs, uh, Chinese old, uh, ancient poems to help the kids to learn Chinese with fun. And here goes the price list. Uh, you can have one-on-one -on -one class. And also if you have, like your kids have friends who want to learn together, also have small group classes, your price list. Yep. Um, and those are the Chinese courses. And if you're interested in learning Chinese culture, we also have some Chinese culture course. And this one is Contemporary China and Chinese culture course. This course is taught in English. So if you are interested in learning Chinese and you don't, uh, learning Chinese culture, but you don't know Chinese language, uh, you can choose this course because it's taught in uh, English. So they have 
three units and uh, 15 topics about uh, all over the Chinese culture topics. And the prices here, uh, 300 RMB per unit. And if you got four, uh, th three of them, uh, so you can also get a certificate from the SCU for this course. Uh, also, we have Chinese poetry in today's China series courses. So this one is 12 uh, lectures, 12 courses taught in Chinese. Uh, it's more like deeply introduced um, in some uh, topics of Chinese culture. So I have an English subtitle to the Chinese lectures. So uh, you can purchase all of them, which is 1,000 RMB. And also if you're interested in just one topic, you can also purchase them for like 100 RMB per lecture. Yep. Also, and uh, if you are preparing to become a Chinese teacher in the future, uh, you know that BRCU is, um, famous, the, the most famous university for training Chinese teacher too. So uh, we have the International Chinese Language Teacher Training Program. So uh, this is designed for students already um, have like HSK 5 or 6 or higher um, that uh, would like to become a Chinese teacher in the future. Like um, you can learn some skills um, of teaching uh, from this course in teaching Chinese language. So this course is like uh, online learning, uh, online chatting, like discussing with other students. And also you need to do some like uh, uh, weekly tasks and also tests uh, online, all online. So uh, we have 10 uh, lessons with uh, two different packages. Like uh, package A is like uh, more about the language itself, and package B is more about like, teaching skills for Chinese language. You can choose uh, both of them or either one, and the price is here. And yeah, this is the certificate. So for our uh, online education college courses, or oh, the non degree courses, uh, you can get a certificate to prove like what course you had. And this is a sample of the certificate. Yep. And uh, that's pretty much all for my introduction for all of our online ch uh, Chinese and uh, Chinese culture and Chinese teacher training courses. And if you're interested in learning more, you can check our website, www.eblcu.com. Also, you can find all of those courses from China Nations on their website too. And here we have our Facebook page, uh, LinkedIn, in, and also uh, goes my email. And uh, uh, if you are interested in learning Chinese, uh, also I have a, a WeChat public account, which will share some free Chinese learning tips every week. You can also scan this QR code to add me uh, from like follow us. Also, uh, if you're interested in degree and full-time uh, learning program from BLCU from our school, uh, you can check this website admission.blcu.edu.cn and also you can uh, contact her, Miss Xia, uh, with this email for uh, degree courses. We have um, bachelor degree, master degree, also PhD degree uh, courses um, from BLCU, but you need to contact them, uh, the admission office, international admission office. Yes, and uh, do, do you guys have any questions about us? Or is us, do you want to like? Yes, <laughs> okay. So I think um, one question that I think would be very interesting is, um, also, we know that these uh, the Chinese courses offered by BLCU are very much renowned for being uh, really excellent for um, international students and international students. If you've I studied Chinese in China as well, that was my degree major. 
I studied in Shenzhen University and our teachers used to always say that if you ever go to BLCU, you'll, the, the international students sound perfect that study there. It's like the, the envy of all the, the Chinese teachers or the students that go to BLCU. So this is a great way for everyone to be able to access the same amount of resources while not having to um, travel if they do not have the means to or if they have a job or something like that. So it's a, it's a great opportunity. Um, can I just ask about the degree in full-time programs? Are they online or in-person? Um, right now, I think we slightly open border right now. So for, uh, um, I heard from the admission office of our school, they, some of the degree uh, courses, degree programs, um, we can provide visa for students like coming here, coming to the campus mm -hmm. to study. Mm -hmm. But for um, non-degree programs right now, it's no, it's all online. Yes, 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 okay, okay. So that is also something that a lot of students have been asking. I'm just going to quickly talk about that. Uh, the, um, the, board, the Chinese border is uh, partially open, which means that um, not all the students can go back immediately and not all universities can receive all of their students. So it's happening on a rolling basis. So you, if you want to um, see about your opportunity to go to China, if that is what you are wanting to do right now, please check with your Chinese embassy in your country to see if they are um, processing that type of visa and then check with the universities that you are wishing to apply to if they're able to provide the JW202 form right now. Okay, so that's going to be your best bet about that. And then also I shared the China admissions link in the chat box. We have a page that shows the updates, the border updates, and we update that weekly. So if you want to um, subscribe to that, then you will get those, those weekly updates and know when you can apply. But thank you so much, Angela, for presenting. Um, it was very uh, well informed and provided all the necessary information information for everyone. So if any of you are interested in applying to the BLCU um, Chinese courses, please make sure to check out from the information that's provided, provided on the screen right now, or you can go to China Admissions website as well and search for the Chinese courses. Okay, so thank you very much, Angela. Thanks, thanks everyone, and thanks to us for uh, introducing. So, Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so next we're going to move on to Emily from Beijing Film Academy. Okay, so another top tier school as well, as well as all the others. Um, so Emily, I'm just going to... Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Hold on, please. Can you see it? You. Yes, we can see it. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Emily from Beijing Film Academy, and thank you very much for channel animation for the opportunity to introduce our school. So, <clears throat> Beijing Film Academy is the largest film academy in Asia. Through 72 years development, it has built up a multidisciplinary and a multi multi-level cultivation system that embraces the entire spectrum of filmmaking, including production, teaching, creation, and research for training advanced film talents. The famous Chinese directors such as Zhang Yimou, Chen Kaige, Pian Zhuang Zhuang, Jia Zhang Ke all graduated from BFA, the cradle of Chinese film producers. Okay, so a uh, department of cinematography department was set up along with the establishment of Beijing Film Academy in 1950. For more than 70 years, with the teacher's efforts of several generations, the department has educated a large number of film and television art and technical talents, and most graduates have become outstanding persons in Chinese film and television industry. Many of their works have not only made big impact on the domestic audience, 
but also enjoyed an international fame for Chinese film and become an excellent vehicle in communicating Chinese culture. So the educational expertise of uh, cinematography department does not lie only in teaching special techniques and skills of cinematography, but also very much in cultivating good taste of the students in art creations and appreciations. So in our practical training, we act not only upon the principle of teaching, which is based on its combination of film and television technology with our series, but also pay more attention to shape, shaping of students' professional qualifications and exploration of their artist, our artistic imaginations. <clears throat> Among the teachers in cinematography department, they are uh, not only uh, there are not only famous scholars who are provided with well set and embedded teaching series, as well as remarkable ac academic achievements, but also well known professors who possess rich theoretical and practical experiences with works that have produced a big impact on the public. The department has a teaching uh, faculty that is reasonably made of different age group with varied knowledge structure and cap cap capabilities. Um, with the advantage of the higher level faculty teachers, both in theory and practice, the department has adopted a whole set of effective teaching methods over the years. Okay, so let's move to the international program. In 2013, the uh, cinematography department took the initiative to start the ac academic's first ever international program. And this is also the first undergraduate program taught in English among all art universities in China. Uh, from 2013, we share the same resources, facilities, and equipment that the cinematography department uses to develop international program. And you can see from the picture that we have some numbers. It means that till now we have admitted 94 students from 30 countries, six continents in total. And students from Belt and Road Initiative countries are selected almost every year. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, ranked, as, uh, ranked as top film school in China, Beijing Film Academy's Film Production International Program is a four year English teaching program offering all kinds of uh, professional uh, courses, including directing, cinematography, post production, and so on. And we are committed to cultivate talents to master the whole workflow of film filmmaking. In addition to gain professional uh, knowledges, students will also have opportunity to learn valuable skills from masters in the industry. And they will meet interesting people, develop themselves and create connections, which will bring them endless opportunities in the future. And with rapid growth of China film industry, we believe it will be a perfect platform for students to start off their career in film industry. <clears throat> okay, so next, our vision. Uh, our visions are as follows. First, high standards. Our education standard is of the highest quality and we strive towards excellence for our students. We provide a safe learning environment with top of the line facilities and equipment. Secondly, diversity. This is the foundational core of our program since our students come from all over the world. We believe in treating all students with families, no matter your country of origin, religion, age, <clears throat> or gender. We also promote the acceptance of ideas from all, <clears throat> all cultures and do not believe in only having one way of thinking. <clears throat> so um, start Certainly, collaborations, because we have a small community. Our faculty and students are one extended family who are all working towards the same goal. Being okay, so um, 
Regarding our course uh, structure, the course structure continues the tradition of the cinematography department with practical teaching as a core, and further strengthens students' creative practice while moderately uh, reducing serial teaching. In order to inspire students' creative and enthusiasm and sparks in our course scratch structure, each semester has a co-creative course, which is spotted by technical courses, historical courses, and theoretical courses. And here are some uh, courses that we offer during the four year study. You can see from the uh, di uh, directing to photography, to cinematography, to editing, and also some uh, culture related content. Okay, so um, here are some photos of students taking practical lessons. <clears throat> About facilities, the school is equipped with four professional studios that contain the latest in state-of-the-art equipment from the industry top suppliers such as Airy, Red, Sony, Kinoflow, Panzer, and Stanicam. Modern uh, post-production and color grading facilities are also available in cinematography department. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, next, here are some events and activities that we have done before. So uh, from this one, this one, uh, we, ask, uh, we hold a photography exhibition every year. And here all photos are shot by students of first grade. And uh, graduation work, you can see from the photo that local students and international students are shooting together for their graduation work. And the Center Award, we hold it every year. And basically it's a, a ceremony for graduation students. And um, in, during the ceremony, their, uh, their graduation work will be shown. Um, here, forum and pan panels. Normally we uh, invite famous directors and cinematographers to talk about uh, their work and some popular topics and also communicate with the students. <clears throat> okay, so also film festivals, we always bring our students and the work to it attend the film festivals. Okay, and also joint workshops. And we have collaborations with several film schools around the world. And from the picture, here's a, a joint workshop that we did before connected with uh, Dutch Film Academy and the Korean Film Art Academy. And also here are some photos that we bring students um, out of China and to visit some film schools. Okay. So back to the enrollment, if any of you have interested to apply for our program, here is a application checklist. You can see you just need to sub submit the application, application form, your ID information, and your graduation certificate and transcript, um, personal statement, re recommendation letters, a start line, and here are some. Uh, and also we need you to uh, submit the English proficiency test score. <coughs> Okay, uh, and um, uh, please submit all materials before December 23rd. We will do online interview in January and after evaluations, we will send you the application result in March. Okay, so last but not least, I wanna show you a showreel and all images are captured by our student from cinematography department. So hold on please. Uh, can you see, can you see it? Uh, we can't see the video right now. Can you see it now? Yes. <laughs>
我以前有一个好朋友，我们经常来海边放风筝。我现在很想念他。这是我仅有的快乐。你希望我走吗This is all the information that I want to share. If anyone uh, have any questions, just feel free to let me know. Thank you so much, Emily. So um, I'm guessing that with that is the link that they can contact you at or go to see the programs. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. It's program's email address and uh, uh, a link to visit our official website. Okay, wonderful. Hmm. So are there any scholarship opportunities with uh, Beijing Film Academy? Uh, we offer a scholarship to top 30 students after each academic year, refer to their grades of last year. Yes. Okay. And uh, so what are the type of grades that would be um, expected from students that might get accepted for a scholarship? Uh, uh, top 30. I mean, we have the ranking scholarship, but okay. he, need to, uh, um, he also need to meet some requirements. And yes. I believe when we enter the school, we will give you more details about that. Yes. And during your presentation, you also talked a little bit about internships um, that students can go through with other companies. Is that right? Uh, yeah, we will have some companies uh, intern internship information and we will share it to the student. And if any student have any interest, we will, uh, we'll, we'll love to help connect them with the company. Okay. And then um, what are the opportunities for foreigners in China's film industry? Uh, I believe there are more foreigners come to China to, and to shoot the film together with the, uh, with the Chinese filmmakers. And so I believe there will be more opportunity in the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. And uh, the film programs, are they taught in English or in Chinese or in both? Uh, in English. Okay, 
Okay, wonderful. So the, if the students are interested in studying any of the um, programs at BFA, um, then they can have that opportunity in English. That's a great opportunity. And then you also have Chinese, uh, teaching Chinese programs for foreigners? Yeah, uh, yes, we have that. Um, okay, so uh, can you talk a little bit about those, those Chinese programs for the, the foreigners who want to study Chinese? Is that uh, online at the moment? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a different program, but if anyone have, um, is interested to enroll the Chinese program, you can send an email to cinematography at bfa.edu.cn. Okay. More exact answers. Okay, okay, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, Thank I'm you just going to check the Q&A to see if there's any more questions. Okay. Yes, that is it for now. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you. Thank you for the for the opportunity. Of course, of course. Okay. So now we are going to go to the um, conclusion. Okay, so thank you all for joining the Chinese um, University Open Day hosted by China Admissions. Um, we had five great universities joining us. We had um, UIC, um, we had United International College, we had um, Beijing Film Academy, BLCU, SBC, we had so many, and Westlake University as well. So thank you guys so much for joining. If you would like to find more information um, and get more updates, you can follow us on the China Admissions YouTube channel, um, which is also where this um, open day is being recorded and will be posted later on the China Admissions YouTube channel. So if you would like to go over any of this information, again, you can find it over there, as well as our previous open days are also over there. There's also a regular border updates, as you can see, and then also several other universities about where you can look for information about university scholarships, about the different types of campuses, different universities, some student experiences as well. So there are tons of different types of videos there that can really help you with your application process and finding which program really suits you. Okay, and then um, if you would like to contact us, you can search for, you can use the, the link that has been sent in the chat box, as well as the link that's on the screen as well, where you can look for our different programs on there. It's very easy to find whichever programs and you can sort them um, by different needs, whether you um, want to choose a September intake or spring intake, whether you want to check for, for uh, specific tuition fees, you can sort it all there and find the program that suits you best. And then if you want to send us an email to find out more information or, or arrange a call with us, you can email us at apply at chinaadmissions.com. And then you can also see our different social media handles here, our Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube handles are all here. And then if you want, you can also scan the QR code here on the screen and you will be added onto the WeChat as well. So remember, this is a WeChat code. I understand that not all students have WeChat, but if you're interested in studying in China, I would recommend to uh, start using it. It is a very, it's very useful and very much part of uh, Chinese daily life. So thank you all so much for joining. Um, if you have any further questions, um, you can ask in the Q&A box and, uh, or you can ask in the chat box as well. Okay, so some, um, Abdul Rahman asked about what about other universities offering admissions in engineering fields. So today's open day had these five universities, um, but there are also lots of other open days that we have done with other universities and we will also be doing future open days. So you can go to our YouTube channel and you can um, check out the 
uh, videos we have there from previous open days where, that we've had with other universities, especially those focusing specifically on engineering. So you can go and look that up or you could go onto our website and you can find the programs there on our website that are also specifically for those engineering programs. So that is where you can find all of the information. Are there any other questions? Um, okay, what open days are available for postgraduate studies and health sciences? Um, you'll have to first take a look. I would recommend to first look for programs on the website. And then when you find a university that you really like to then search that university on our um, YouTube channel and check if we've done any um, open days with them or any interviews with them to find out more information about that. And then someone asked also about the English certificates that are asked for. Um, you must have an English certificate if you want to apply for an English taught program, since everyone is coming from different parts of the world and we need to make sure, and the universities need to make sure that everyone is able to understand everything that is taught in the course. So um, you will need to have a TOEFL or IELTS certificate if you are not coming from an, um, a deemed English speaking country, like for example, the US or Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Ireland, and the UK. Um, so you will need to have that English certificate. However, if you have undergone your um, previous studies, like your high school studies or university studies in English, you can get a certificate from that university or school that states that your education was taught in English and that can be used as an English certificate, but you will have to provide an English certificate. If you are applying for a Chinese program, you will have to provide an HSK um, certificate that is the necessary level to enter. And then this um, webinar will be is being recorded and will be posted on the China Admissions YouTube channel afterwards to answer Kubra's question here. Okay, so thank you all so much for joining. Um, is uh, there any, I don't think there are any other um, questions that we haven't already discussed here. So thank you all so much for joining and we will see you guys in the next video on online open day webinar and make sure to just um, check our, um, subscribe to our emails and be able to check for the next online open day.